Hey, it's Joy. We are having a bit of a heat wave here in the LA area this weekend, and a lot of people have concerns with cabin overheat protection mode that it would drain your battery quite a bit. And so a lot of people are not using it. I decided to put it to test and find out just exactly how much cabin overheat protection will drain your battery. So today is Sunday and I go to church Sunday morning. My church is in another area where it's typically 10 to 15 degrees hotter than where I live. So I am going to expose my car to the heat without the shade, without anything. And I am going to set cap and overheat protection mode to the lowest setting, which is 90 degrees. If the interior reaches 90 degrees or above, then it will kick in. And we will see how much my battery will drain while sitting under the sun. And for your reference, before cabin overheat protection mode became available many years ago, sometimes my car interior, from what I remembered, would go up to 156 degrees, which is super hot. So I am very thankful that Tesla came out with this feature. So let's check out my test results. I'm at church now and it is 9 10 a.m and it's already 82 degrees outside i do have my windows tinted but it's not super dark and the windshield also has a transparent uv film i am not going to close the shade so everything is as is i do have sentry mode on and for the purpose of this test I am going to go to the extreme and for the cabin overheat protection under safety, I'm actually going to go down to 90 degrees. So the car will activate AC if it goes above 90 degrees. So we'll see just how much the combination of having sentry mode on as well as lower temperature for cabin overheat protection would drain the battery and just so that you know normally i keep it at 100 degrees um, which is enough but again for the sake of this test we're gonna go to the extreme and um, let's see how much battery will drain after i come out of church later on this afternoon and right now my battery is at uh, 32% and um, I will check in later. I am walking back to my car and it's like 92 degrees right now outside and it's completely exposed under the sun so I can hear the AC running. Now let's see. Okay, so it is now 1240 and uh, so three and a half hours later, it drained down to 26% with both sentry mode on and the strongest um, cabin overheat protection on at 90 degrees so yeah the inside is nice and cool um, doesn't feel like it's uh, completely cooked and I've had two sentry mode events so this is what you can expect uh, six percent with both sentry mode and cabin overheat protection on at 90 degrees so if you do not have sentry mode on um, 
this is definitely going to not drain as much as well as if you change it to the highest setting, which is the setting I normally set it at. It's going to be much less. As you saw, going to the extreme of setting the cabin overheat protection limit to 90 degrees would drain the battery quite a bit along with having sentry mode enabled. So I am going back to the 100 degrees, um, which is the typical setting that I use. And I have been using it for many years now, and I've never had to worry about the battery draining so much. Now, I do want to mention, though, that a lot of people think that with cabin overheat protection on or even sentry mode on, it's going to drain the battery all the way down to like zero if you leave it unattended. So I want to clarify a couple of misconceptions about this mode. First of all, if your car detects that the battery is draining down to 20%, all these automatic temperature features as well as sentry mode will disable themselves. So if my battery ran down to 20% and cabin overheat protection was running, it would turn off automatically. So you don't have to worry about the car going all the way down to zero. Same thing with sentry mode. If you leave sentry mode on, once the battery drains down to 20%, the car will detect it and it's going to disable sentry mode. So you don't have to worry about the battery draining all the way down to zero. Another misconception with cabin overheat protection is it will only be active within 12 hours after you park your car. So if you park your car overnight and the next day you're not driving and the heat comes out, your car will become super hot inside because cabin overheat protection mode will not kick in after you park your car for more than 12 hours. So again, you don't have to worry about if you're going on a trip, cabin overheat protection is on, that the battery is going to drain all the way down. I have left my car parked and unplugged when I when on um, multiple trips, even overseas trips for 32 days, you can watch the video here I'm linking. And I did not turn off cabin overheat protection mode and it's totally fine because it will only run within the first 12 hours that the car is idling. So I hope this little test has helped you to ease your fear about using cabin overheat protection. So when it's hot and it's summertime, go ahead and leave it on because it is a life-saving mode. If somehow you accidentally leave your pet and forget to turn on dog mode or worse, um, your kid, your baby in here and you forget, that's how cabin overheat protection mode came about is to prevent the interior from becoming so hot that when people accidentally space out or whatever reason have those unfortunate accidents happen that lives will be saved. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one and God bless you.